weekend. All right, so we're going to have a little rain all this week, maybe. Yeah, hopefully you'll get some rain on your <laughs> Hope so. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> Well, they've been around for about 50 years now, uh, more than 50 years, and until recently, if you saw one, you'd pretty well seen them all. We're talking about VW Beetles, and there were dozens of them in Chattanooga today. News 12's Mike Chambers has the story. If you were a Volkswagen owner, this was the place to be. The first annual Scenic City Volt folks, and folks rolled in. Everywhere from uh, Atlanta to Cleveland, um, Alabama, we're amazed, really. It's really brought everybody together. Since 1932, over 30 million Volkswagens have hit the roads. To some, they've become a collector's item. To others, a touch of the mystical. It's always been a cult, but uh, it's for some reason it's really picked up in the last year or so, and it's getting real big. I think everybody's either owned one or knew someone that owned one from their childhood, and uh, a lot of them had them in high school or college, and, and everybody has a story connected with one. Stories of flower power free love, good gas mileage, togetherness, which sometimes can be important to vintage Volkswagen owners. Most of us have had the same mechanical problems, so if, we, uh, if we're on the way to a camp out or if we just see somebody along the road, we always, uh, always like to stop and help or, or wave if we're driving. The new models are somewhat sleeker now, and the engine is up front where it should be, the trunk and the rear, but it's still pushing the people's car down the road. In Chattanooga, Mike Chambers, News 12. The event was not all self-promotion. All of the participants donated canned goods to the Chattanooga Food Bank today.